Okay, question two is on sequences. Just in case you've forgotten a quick recap about arithmetic and geometric sequences. First term of an arithmetic sequence is A, and then that goes up by a common difference or down by a common difference each time. So the second term will be A plus D, third term will be A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D, and so on. Geometric sequences, uh, where you multiply by the same amount each time, uh, so the first term will be A. The second term will be a times r, which is a common r is a common ratio. Then a r squared, a r cubed, a r to the power of four, and so on. So in our question, um, we're told that the first, third, and thirteenth terms of an arithmetic progression are the same as the first, second, and third of a geometric, and the first term of both is 3. So we know a equals 3 for this. Uh, so if we're thinking about the arithmetic arithmetic the first term is obviously 3 so we don't really need to worry about the first terms because we already know those are 3. So term 3 for the arithmetic is going to be a plus 2d as we can see above um, but since we know that a is 3 we might as well write it down and then the geometric uh, we need the second term for that so term 3 of the arithmetic equals term 2 of the geometric and uh, term 2 for the geometric will be a r uh, but once again, we already know that A is 3, so we can just put 3 in there. And we also know that the 13th term, term 13 of the arithmetic, so that will be 3 plus 12D, will equal term 3 of the geometric. So term 3 of the geometric will be 3R squared. So we just need to solve these two simultaneous equations now to find what D and R equal. I think the first thing I would do is probably just divide the two equations together. If we call uh, the if we call this one number one and this one number two, I would divide uh, equation two by equation one. And then that will leave R on its own. Um, so on the right hand side, when we divide these two, that the threes are going to cancel, we're going to be left with R. And then we're going to have 3 plus 12D over 3 plus 2D over there. Now let's sub this back into equation 1. And what will that give us? The left hand side will be 3 plus 2d equals 3 times by all of this. Uh, so 3 plus 12d over 3 plus 2d. Um, remember this is the same as 3 over 1. So when we multiply this out, we're going to do 3 times this and just multiply the bottom by 1 so it'll stay as it is. So that will be 9 plus 36d all over 3 plus 2d and the left hand side stays as it is so let's multiply that to the other side now so we'll have 3 plus 2d squared 3 plus 2d times 3 plus 2d equals 9 plus 36d this is going to give us a quadratic which we, we're going to need to solve let's multiply out the brackets uh, that's 9 plus 6d plus another 6d plus 4d squared. Let's collect everything on the oh, let's collect everything on the left hand side. Uh, so 4d squared 
12D minus 36D, that's going to be minus 24D. And then these nines are just going to cancel out. Um, let's divide by 4, so that's D squared minus 6D equals 0. You could just use the equation solver on your calculator to solve this quadratic, but I think it's quicker to divide by 4 and then just factorise because you can just take the D out now and straight away we know that d equals zero or d equals six actually d can't equal zero um because then all the terms will be the same for the arithmetic series sorry the arithmetic um sequence so d must equal six so that's one part of the question answered we now just need to find out what r equals so let's substitute d equals six all the way back into this here so if we put d equals six in there we'll work out what r equals um so let's do that down here so sub sub in d equals six so r will be three plus twelve times six over three plus two times six and that's 75 over 15 which equals 3. so the common ratio of the geometric uh, progression is 3 and the, co the common difference for the arithmetic uh, progression or sequence is 6. sorry <laughs> i just done that wrong haven't i uh, that's obviously not 3 that's a 5 uh, sorry about that. Um, so that is actually five. Apologies. Bye.